Oh yes. Is this high enough? Oh no. No, it's not high enough. Give me one second. Oh my gosh. I know y'all see this hair growth. Hair growth. Hello, all of my saps and sims. Your girl's back. I'm back. I'm not better, but I'm back. And I'm tired, as you can see right here. It's been a while. I have not made a video in about a month. It's horrible, but okay, let me get to the point. First and foremost, rest in peace to all the people that have unfortunately passed away due to coronavirus. My condolences go out to all the families that are affected, everyone that's affected by this. And thank you to all the doctors and all the people that work in that workforce helping this whole situation. Thank you so much. So with that being said, this is really what this video is about. I just wanted to speak, just say what what's going on in my head. I've been home for a little bit over a month. I love my mom, I love my little brother. But I feel trapped. Yes, I'll take a walk occasionally. Yes, I'll work out occasionally. But I really feel stuck. I don't feel like I have cabin fever because I'm a homebody to begin with. But this is like a different type of, how do I say this? Like, I stay home by choice. But now I can't even go and see anybody. I can't go back to my apartment. My eyes are strained, so strained from looking at my computer screen just doing work. I've been thinking a lot. I need to do more. I need to live life more. I need to do what makes me happy, do what I want to do. And I feel like I've been stuck. I feel like I have a little itch inside of me that I know what I'm supposed to do. I know I'm doing the right things to get me to where I want to be, but I need to go harder. I need to do more. With this whole thing happening, I just feel like I'm taking 20 steps back. I was reading my books, I was doing my meditations, I was really calm, I was really relaxed, I wasn't as stressed, I knew how to handle my stress when I was stressed. But now that I'm here and I'm stuck in here, some days I don't even get out of bed. I look like this, like look at my eyes. I have bags under my eyes. My energy has been so low. I try to like have a little routine, do this, do that. It's not realistically working for me. My sleep pattern is horrible. It's probably two o'clock, one, two o'clock in the morning right now. Maybe this is a time for me to just build my faith, get closer to God, get closer to just myself. Sometimes I just get tired of thinking. Schools now are talking about considering online classes for the fall semester. I can't. I try to be positive in every situation, but thinking realistically about what's happening now, I look at my phone every five minutes, a Blackboard notification. Some assignment is due, this is due, this, I gotta do this, I gotta do this. Oh my gosh. I literally feel like my brain is about to explode. I cannot take any more information. I'm not learning anything. Just doing stuff to get it done, get it out the way. But I'm not using my time wisely. I know I could be doing so much more, but I'm really taking this time to just relax. When I was back at school in my apartment, it was, Right after my last class, I went straight to work. I worked. I can't really do my homework at work, so I would get off work, go home, do my homework for the rest of the night. And it was the same thing every single day. I worked every single day, went to class every single day, did the same thing every single day. Don't really have many friends back where I go to school, but the friends that I do have, I don't even hang out with them because I'm just so tired all the time. I love being at peace. Like I love just being by myself, but this just made me realize that I really need to spend time with the people that I do enjoy, that I do really care about. Because look at what's look at look at what's going on. Like this is not jokes, this is not funny games. I just have to change the way that I'm doing certain things. I know I have so much potential. I know I can be great. I can be amazing, astounding. I just have to put in the work. I believe in myself one thousand percent. I just feel stuck. Yes, I journal Yes, I read. I've been slacking, but yes, I do read. I try to be as positive as I can. If it's not one thing, it's something else. All in here too. Like, it's not even like, it's all in my head. I was looking through my old pictures and videos in my phone, and I saw this video of Joyce Meyer. You just have to trust God's timing. Things aren't going to come when you want them to come. Things are going to come when you're ready for them to come. 
when God knows that you're ready to have it. So you need to work on yourself, build yourself up to whatever you want to be to get to that point to where you can receive all the blessings that God has for you. If you're not doing anything, if you're just being stagnant like I am right now, nothing good is going to come out of that. It's going to be a cycle every single day. You're just going to keep thinking, oh, what if, what if, like stop. I have to stop saying what if. I just have to do it. And I know that it's just hard. Like I'm human, it's hard, it's it's really hard. But at least I'm aware and I'm trying to do better. And as soon as I just was home for about two weeks, I just felt myself not going backwards, but just literally stopping. I stopped making videos. I was contemplating on deleting my whole channel. Like I never would think like, oh, I don't even know what I was thinking. Like stop kind of caring. But I really do enjoy making videos. This is my passion, this is my hobby, I love it. I feel like this is a great way of self-expression. It's okay to feel how you're feeling. It's good to be in tune with your emotions, but don't stay in such a down place. Don't stay like that. It's okay to be sad. I don't like the word depressed, but you cannot stay there. Like you have to move forward. You have to keep going. Life goes on. Like we've been sitting in the house for days. We've been doing the same thing for days. Life has just going has been going by. I think to myself, dang, like what can I be doing to make myself more productive? What can, what can I be doing to make this better, make that better? But I'm not actually putting in the work. I'm just thinking, I'm just saying it, but I actually need to do it. You actually need to do what you want to do. You're the only person that can change your situation. You have to hold yourself accountable. You have to hold yourself up to that standard that you hold everyone else at. You need to push yourself. You need to be your biggest supporter. You need to be your own cheerleader. You just need to be everything for yourself because at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. Everyone in the house is stressed. I can feel it. Like my little brother, he's a little kid, but he's going crazy. He wants to, you know, do little kid things. Mom, stressed. My friends, same. It's, everyone's feeling the same way. People express it differently. I just got a... Uh, a freaking um, assignment. Let me see what this is. I just need to get that out. You, that was a lot to write down if I had to write that down. Everyone, try to stay as positive as you can. Love yourself, love other people, be kind, send kind words to people that you talk to. I will see you guys next time. Bye.